Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day. It is late. It's like 10.30 maybe? No, it's 11. It's 11. 11 a.m. And we are probably going to be in trouble because we have a lot to do in a little time. We have two hours. Welcome to an amazing oh, shoot, day. Oh shoot, we got the bags. What bags? For grain. For hay? For grain. Oh yeah, you want to go back up and get it? No. All right, so what are we doing today? We are packing up. Don't, don't look. Don't look. Don't anybody look. What's unfortunate about my family is that they think that if they have a stall for the horse, it means that they have a bathroom for them. Sam and I both went pee before we left the house. You think this is close to time to get that? But yeah, no. Anyway, um, today we are headed out, and it's going to be a bit of a figuring out because. I'm taking Stella in for my lesson too because I really want to learn to ride her like in a better arena. Willow looks chubby. Willow looks she chubby. No, oh, she doesn't. Like... She's like. She'll come here. She looks so chubby. Look. She's not chubby. She's perfect. Look at, look at your belly, girlfriend. Look at all that poop is like from yesterday. Legit from yesterday. It's just terrible. Why do you guys have to poop so much? Yeah. So I'm trying to decide if Ruby would be an appropriate friend for Willow. Like, Ruby loves the horses. Ruby, you need a haircut, dude. How did I forget about this? We need to call and get you in now. Pronto. Poor furry girl. Anyway, I'm thinking like maybe leaving Ruby here with Willow. But I don't know if we could do it. I'm nervous to do it. Ugh, it's so nerve wracking. Aw, oh, he's so cute. She's so cute. People are saying her fly mask is too loose. Big? Yeah. yeah, well, it won't go any tighter. We've tied knots in it. Yeah. Is that what you used to tie the knots? Yeah. Oh. It fits her better just around the nose. It's big. And we can't do anything about it since the strap is way too far up. Yeah. So And, and it's not long enough to go around her nose. Yeah, and it actually is not that big. It's like up high it goes down more fit. yeah I can sew it so this is what we're gonna do we are leaving in an hour and a half so your job is to clean the poo in here and dad will help you in there your job I don't already know my job is to pack this trunk for camp and pack up for lessons oh but mostly to pack up for lessons which was where I we're going yeah do I have everything I need crap I need boots and a helmet. So there's that. And I have a. Did you put my saddle pad back? Is my is my pink saddle pad I in the? I brought it down. Is my pink saddle pad in the car? Yeah. Trailer. Trailer. Okay. All right. So don't confuse me here for a minute because this is so confusing. It's bathing halter. Is this Stella's bridle? That's her girth. Girth. Yeah. Because this one is a 52, and this one's a 52. That one's too big, and this one's. I mean, no, that one's too small and that one's too big. All right, I'm bringing them all because who knows? I'm trying another saddle. Hope I'm trying. No, oh. just bring one because they have girths there. Yeah, that's true. But I want to try with my own stuff. Trailering out is actually a lot of work. So I need that and I need my girth. No, my Mom. bridle. Do you see? actually see my bridle? Oh. I don't like these reins because they're too big and they're not as grippy as mine. Like, Do we have extra reins? Yeah. We do have extra reins? Right here. And then we have easy clip on extra reins. Okay, so today I want to remind myself that you have to get tape put on your... Mm, no. Yes, you do, Gabby. No. Because Gabby has a hard time um, holding the reins up short enough. She has a really hard time and... Mom pulls them out of my hand. Oh, so frustrating. Anyway, alright, so we do actually have extra reins. That's good. I yes, like them. So more extra range. Oh, let's see. These are willows. Let's see. These are for willow. Man, I love having stuff. So I have these rubber reins that everybody hates, but I don't mind them because Is they help. But I don't think I need them Mom, to be honest. These are cob size reins. They're the same length. Oh wait, no, these are pony size reins. Oh. Spencer's bridle. 
And they're the same line. All right, let's get packed There's up. There's not gonna be a mini. Rack. Gabby, Gabby. There's you know what? You know what's weird is that Gabby was like not a, a noisy child, and we named her Gabby, and now you are living into your name. Uh, what else do I need, Gabby? First, you don't want me to talk. Now you want me to tell you what you need by talking. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I just want to know what I need. I got my my oh a saddle. No. So. What saddle? This one. I'm bringing two saddles. Or this one. I'm bringing, oh my gosh, how many saddles are we going to bring? Okay, so I want to try the black one. I'm bringing one. three. Is this the black one? Yeah. Okay. It's black. So like, Sophie rode in this saddle already. Finn, it doesn't fit Finn. I want to try, I want to sit on it. Because Finn was running away from it. Yeah, it does not fit Finn. And I don't want you to stop talking. I just want us to be focused talking, not rambling talking. All right, so today I've decided to go through these things and try and figure out what the heck I'm doing. Somebody gave us this... Um, Hey, Nat, and I love it. I just we haven't used it yet. We just haven't used it yet. Yeah, so um, I know this one. Yeah, so basically I'm going to go through these, figure out what we're keeping, and then put the rest in the toss pile. <laughs> Got a pressure washer for Christmas that we have not even used yet. Tomorrow might be the day that I clean up all the blankets, clean them. Um, so basically, all these ones are good. I may have figured things out. So basically, we're doing a trial run here to see how Willa would be with her new best friend Ruby. Aww. Oh, Aww. Will. Willa sniffs her. No. Aww, yay. So this is just a trial. We're gonna try and leave Willow and Ruby here alone. I think what we'll do is just like close them in this big arena so they can run and uh, get free of each other if they need to get free of each other, but that Ruby is not uh, no. left. I don't know. No. No. I'm most nervous of Ruby, not Willow. This is Willow's nose. And um, Ruby went, no. <laughs> they know each other, they're friends, they get along. Uh, and one time we did leave Ruby down here by mistake for a few hours. She was in the tack room. Though. Yeah, she was in the tack room. But anyway, and Ruby didn't freak out. Ruby so. was barking. Was she barking? Hmm. But anyway, that's my goal. I, we're gonna try it today. I think we're gonna try it. Yeah, so that's what I think we're gonna do. Well, we take our big horses. I don't know, I'm sure you guys are gonna tell me if you think it was a dumb idea or a bad, or if it's a good idea, but I think it's the only idea that I can Ruby's think of, already the boss of Willow. without having to take Willow with us. And I think it's good for Willow to have a new friend. Yes, the boss is there. Oh, there's an Instagram edit this morning. Well, last night, but um, I could only see it this morning. Um, and it's of Sophia. We're getting a goat. And then she edited it after. And Mom's like, no, we're not getting a goat. And Sophia's like, we're getting a goat. Oh, that's cute. It was funny. That's funny. She made the deep voice and filtered and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. You need to, you need to shout her out. I don't know her name. Do you remember her name? Give me your phone. Uh, it's in there. So essentially, there's no noises, no running, no barking. They just both want out. So now, let's try it in this arena. See what happens. You guys, let's see what happens. Sophia. Right, so we're going to do a test. All we want to do is make sure that they're safe. She stands by the window, stares at the morning sun. She hopes for a clear view before the day is done. What can you do? All right, so that was a test, and nobody seemed like crazy stressed out. Willa was trotting a little, but, I mean, that's what she does whenever we take the horses anyway, but she doesn't, as long as she doesn't get pop an ulcer, that's all I care about, that she doesn't get so stressed that she gets an ulcer, I care that she's not alone. That's the only thing, she just, she doesn't care, she just doesn't want to be alone. She wants to have somebody with her, that's all. 
So I think it's gonna work out. I think that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna close this door too though because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Ruby can jump and she could probably jump that high easily and there's enough room in here she could get leverage. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. There will be a video soon on Gabby's channel about what she's packing for horse camp. No grass, no grass, Missy. No riding a horse that's eating grass. All right, so no, no, and no. It's funny though, I don't usually bring the horses up because Stella doesn't usually come. And so I think this is my first time ever bringing her up and she's legit. Like I showed her the halter, the harness, and she's like, Oh my God, we're going. Let me stick my head in there and let's go. Look at her. She's like excited. She's, she, <laughs> I've never seen her like that before. She's like, we're going somewhere. I hate it that they always poop as soon as they get in there. Love our trailer so much that we can fit three horses in there. Like it just makes me so happy. Wednesday. Good boy. Good boy. Take him to the gravel. You're okay. Stop with the snorting. Good girl. You got this. Remember we came here before. You liked it. She's like, don't leave me, Storm. You got it. It's okay. There might be some cows. You're okay. You're okay. I'm with you. Getting a little ahead of yourself there, Missy. Okay, I'm gonna try and catch this and see if I can show you what this horse does. So he was just mad at me because his penis was hanging down and so I came to look and make sure it was clean and because it's never down. And he was mad. He's swishing his tail. He doesn't like it. Watch this. Finn, you're okay. Finn, look at me. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, you guys can't tell. But he literally will just stand completely still and stare in my eyes. And it's like I can totally communicate with him. Like, it's the weirdest thing. It's like I can tell what he's saying to me just by how he's looking. And, and you know how people say so, uh, Stella has a soft eye, a kind eye? Finn has a mischievous eye. He's got a sneaky eye. He's got a I will do whatever I can eye. You do. You do, Finny Finn. I'm hoping that eye changes as you get more comfy with us, huh? Yeah, plus he ate grass, which is not a good thing. All right, the whole barn is filled with our horses. We got Finn, we got Storm. Oh, he's sweating. The boys sweat way more than the girls. You okay? You okay? Next week, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love next week, Storm. And we got Stella. And Sophie cleaned your feet for me, huh? And she's feeling a little frisky because she's like, oh my goodness, I don't know where we are. Last time we came, she was not feeling like that. Are you going to be okay here? All right, welcome to the saddle that I'm trying today. This is an adjustable saddle. It's a collegiate, I think she said. It is for sale at this barn. It's only a 17 or a 17.5 which is probably not going to fit me, but it might fit Stella. So we're going to try it and see. Who is that pretty girl? Hey, look. She's like, I hear horses out there and I like them much better than this one. Look, look at that girl, Stella. Look. I was going to climb on and now I'm going to wait. Look how pretty she is. Do you like that girl? She's a nice, quiet girl. Good girl. Storm, you, I think Storm had the best lesson, you guys. We learned a lot with Storm about Storm. We learned about why he was unhappy and how to fix it. And I'm excited about that. So today I learned that Storm is a slow horse, and what he loves most in life is just to 
drag little kids around on his back and just be happy and flow and enjoy the scenic route, which I always knew. But lately, Gabby's really got the need for speed and she wants to go faster and she wants to do stuff. And so they've been at a crossroads and he's getting frustrated and she's getting frustrated. And today we had a big lesson on how to turn it all around. But no matter what, he's never going to enjoy the things that she enjoys. And I think like, that's the story of Storm's life. Everybody who's ever owned him before has always said he wasn't happy doing what I wanted with him. And what is what does make him happy though our kids like he he he'd be so happy with Brooklyn and Jacob just dragging them around and going for trails and enjoying his owner and just enjoying he's an old man that's just who he is and so we're gonna figure out a way that we can do the things with him that he likes and eventually figure out a way for Gabby to just think that she likes but yeah I mean we're we don't at all want to keep get rid of Storm Gabby Storm is Gabby's dream horse and she's like devastated at the fact that we're trying to tell her now that he's not happy with the things that she's asking of him anyway we don't have all the answers but we learned a lot today and Storm's staying with us and he's going to really enjoy this week and I think this week is going to be really good for them because Gabby will be riding Storm every single day this week with um, Fiona and so she's going to attempt to reunite them again and they'll be doing a lot of trails and stuff so, so he'll be happy. Well that's not good! Ruby you are not a good friend! Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.